So, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Ashita Vasa extending a hi from Hyderabad, IBC. And uh, with me is a very famous uh, YouTuber, uh, Miss Michael Super, and his YouTube handle is Superman. So, I'm very sure people in India are you know, having great fan following since IBC. I cannot just stop seeing so many people from India. I'm really enjoying it. I'll be honest, last night I had quite a heavy night. I'm surprised that I can talk properly, but I'm having a great time. Oh, it's God. really lovely. <laughs> thank God. Because yeah, we're dying to hear you today. And thank God you have a voice. Yes, yes, it's normal now. <laughs> yeah, so is this like your first time in India and in Hyderabad or have you have been here before as well? Never been to India. No, yeah. And uh, of course, yeah, first time in uh, Hyderabad, so it's really beautiful. People have said to me, every hundred miles you go out, accent changes, the city changes, the culture changes, it's different every morning. Absolutely. So I want to, I would like to see more. And I will, I'm sure, at some point. Now, since we spoke about, you know, you've been in uh, India for the first time, let's try something uh, called this, you know, Namaste as a welcome to our yep. Indian audience. And I'm sure they're going to love it. So Namaste is what you say, you know, a warm welcome. Okay. <laughs> Namaste. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so now coming back to the, you know, cryptocurrency talks and the sets. Uh, my first question is going to be, what are the currencies you're really doing right now? What do you mean? Do you mean like working okay. with? Or? Yeah, I mean working with or, you know, you have invested in the ICOs or cryptocurrencies, which are the ones, I mean, like just top five of your invest. Top five? That's not, that's not easy, I would say. <laughs> um, well, I don't work with them, but obviously I'm invested in them, so... Um, Hashgraph is one of the big ones. That's coming out at the end of this year, but I've already invested. Um, then you've got Hypernet, Seller Network. What's that? There was one, there's a recent this is, one. This is a too big question. Ah, Jura. Jura. And, uh, gosh, there is another one. <laughs> That's absolutely See, I don't get often asked that question. I know. All or right. should I say I never, uh, I never answer that question? That's yeah, but see, you know, that's the charm of me. I, I, I ask that question and you're actually giving the answer of it the question. It is the charm. So, yeah, that's a lot of good for me. <laughs> All right, so now um, uh, you, you must be aware about the government of India not very much uh, supporting the cryptocurrency uh, you know, situation. Yeah. Now, the great media also technically not writing positive comments about it. Um, so, what do you have to do? Uh, What's your piece of advice or what do you want to comment on this whole situation? Well, I mean, the thing is, is that, I mean, as with most governments, like the negative sentiment tends to come centrally, right? I mean, India is lucky that it's got a lot of state, state areas where they can, they have some power and they right. can do stuff. Right. The, um, you know, really the negative sentiment is um, ban, uh, banks not allowing their customers to buy cryptocurrency or make those accounts. That happens all over the world. So, it really, what happens is, is mainstream media tends to take something quite small and makes it into a large thing and says India bans cryptocurrencies. And that's essentially fake news. And that's my take on it. Because seeing what, what has uh, happened here and how um, supportive uh, this state is particularly, um, you know, you can see that there's a lot of support for Absolutely, yeah. There are so many exhibitors here and everyone's talking about cryptocurrency and the startups and the blockchain. So it's really busy. Yeah, 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 it's really busy.
of people that are negative about it, a lot of people that are positive about it. But um, if if it's rejected, I do ex- I do personally expect the Bitcoin to go to go down to the devastation, right? But I only imagine it will go down about three thousand. Okay, that sounds like a lot, right? But at worst, three thousand. That's a three thousand potential loss if you want it there. Um, and that's on the assumption that it's a no from the SEC. If the SEC say yes, then the upside is going to be quite aggressive, right? And it's going to take people by surprise. So my tip would be just stay positive. Um, remember that, you know, there's a hell of a lot of upside. The upside, I think, is very, very likely to be realised over the next year. Um, because if, if CBOE's ETF doesn't go through, there'll be another ETF application and another one and another one and another one until it bats that door. Right. And the regulation's coming out at the end of the year, so I think that there's more likelihood of uh, an ETF being granted after regulation. You already, you know, surprised the whole concept <laughs> in such a beautiful way. Thanks. So, uh, well, it's wonderful having you on board and talking to you. I hope you enjoyed the conversation so far. Please. Yeah, yeah, no worries. So this is on YouTube, right? Yeah. So smash up the old likes, beeps, smash them. Oh, don't forget to hit the yield subscribe button. Yeah. And there we are, so Mexico. Yeah, and uh, I'm also going to, you know, put the link down below to follow him. And he has some very surprising, uh, you know, facts about everything.